we're very excited about working with Intel. Uh, we've been working with Intel for the last two years, essentially, and the Nobis, which we're using in the middle school, really fit the students who are using them. They're, they're great machines for kids of that age. They're durable, they're powerful, it really suits our curriculum. And though they're new machines, and, and we, they, we, we've also seen that they've got ter a terrific maintenance record. They've been very easy to, to keep up and maintain. And I think that the relationship between Intel and SPA has worked very well. And it's worked well because your machines have helped us do our job better, and we're very happy with it. Oh, they get very excited when they see my little sign on the door that says, see, you're going to need your, yes, you're going to need your Nobis today. Um, I think they see it as a time to be creative um, in terms of making their own content and having an audience to present it to. So if they're making a PowerPoint, they show it to the class and, and they like to get that feedback from other kids. Um, I guess I really like the notebook feature. Um, being able to have the kids write on the tablet and um, being able to keep, it's like I have an electronic portfolio and they have electronic portfolio. It goes home with them. If their parents have a question, I can send an email saying, you know, look at this section of their notebook. It'll show you an example of, you know, what they need help with. Well, my main goal in language is to be able to make it as real as possible. So there are three primary, primary things that I do. One is use of the internet, two is listening comprehension and audio recording, and then the third thing is games and projects. Um, Art. <laughs> Spanish. We do lots of projects with them. Probably for me, science, definitely, with all your little concept webs and whatever. So. Sometimes in German, we use it, um, we flip it and just play like Pictionary games so we learn our vocabulary. Turn your screen like this if they ask you to show you, them what you want, like what you're doing. So, and then if they say it's okay, you could just turn it back. One twenty-five. Very good. <laughs> no, seriously, that's that that'll that'll work out to be really good. Okay. Remember, you don't want to overlap them. Your final tessellation should look like one shape copied. Can't look like multiple little different shapes. Then you've overlapped. It's only. Okay. Looks like a very. Yep. And that's, that's one thing you can do. Look at my headphones. You can take a screen catch by doing function insert. Where's the insert? It's at the top row. Oh, this one? Yep. And then.